Hello, Namaskar and welcome to Indian Tales 1508. Tales of Akbar and Birbal. Retold by Vernon Thomas. Episode 11. Unlucky Chand. While Birbal helped Akbar in all matters, at times he also helped him to change his mind. This was on those occasions when Akbar wished to act unwisely or do something foolish. One such happening concerned a merchant named Chand. It was said by all that Chand was unlucky. Whoever saw his face on a morning would have bad luck for the rest of the day. Akbar got to hear of Chand. He thought the stories about him were unkind and unjust. So he sent for Chan to judge for himself. Chan arrived early one morning. Akbar received him kindly and began to talk to him. But as he questioned Chan about himself, one of the queen's maids arrived all of a sudden. Sire, I'm so sorry to disturb you, she said, sounding quite worried. But her majesty has suddenly taken ill. Please do come at once. Excusing himself, Akbar hurried away. When he reached the queen's bedside, he found that his wife was indeed quite ill. Akbar was upset. He sent for the court physician, who soon arrived and examined the queen. Sire, it is only a small illness, he declared. I am ordering some medicines for her majesty. She will be very well soon. Don't worry. Though that certainly set Akbar's mind at rest, he remained by the queen's bedside till he was quite certain she was out of danger. By the time he thought fit to leave, it was near lunchtime. Meanwhile, Chand had waited. Akbar had quite forgotten about Chand, but as he came out of the queen's private chamber, he remembered and hurried. On the way, he was stopped by one of his attendants. Sire, said the man, your lunch awaits you. If you delay, I fear the food will be spoiled. All right, I'm coming, answered Akbar. He would talk to Chand when he had finished eating, he now decided. However, when he reached the royal dining hall and sat down to his meal, Akbar found the food was already cold and tasteless. What is the meaning of this, he demanded of the servants who were waiting on him. How dare you serve me food of this kind? Take it away at once. Prepare something tasty or I will have all of you punished. And in a huff, he stamped out of the dining hall. Akbar now made up his mind to finish his chat with Chand while a fresh meal was being got ready for him. But he was very angry. He grew more cross and as a result began to find fault. Certainly, this child is to blame, he said to himself. I hardly begun speaking to him when the queen fell ill. Now my lunch is ruined. What people say is quite right. Chand is unlucky. He is a danger to all. He must be put in prison in a cell all by himself. That way, no one will see his face and suffer bad luck. With that, most angry Akbar sent for his jailer. He ordered that Chand be locked up right away. Poor Chand was most surprised and upset when the jailer appeared before him suddenly and marched him off. To Chand's good luck, on the way, they passed Birbal. Great, kind Birbal, called out Chand at once. Please save me. His Majesty has ordered me to be put in prison, he says as do many others, that my face has brought him bad luck. Birbal was sorry to hear this. Taking Chand aside, he whispered in his ear, after which he ordered the jailer to take Chand to meet the king. But don't tell his majesty that these are my instructions, he added. Meanwhile, Akbar had finished eating the fresh meal that had been prepared for him. Quite satisfied now, he felt much better. In fact, he was quite in a good mood, though he looked up angrily as the jailer led Chand in to meet him. 
What is the meaning of this? he demanded. How dare you bring this man to me? I ordered him to be put in prison. Sire, answered the jailer, this man desired to meet you before I put him in prison. He pleaded so much I could hardly refuse. Of course, by now, poor Chand was on his knees before the king. With folded hands, he begged Akbar for mercy. Sire, he said when Akbar told him he could speak. You are punishing me because you say my face brought you bad luck today. But consider my position. Your face has brought me bad luck too. After meeting you, I am now being put into prison. Akbar at once realized he had acted unwisely. He began to laugh now. My good man, he said to Chand, what you have just said is very clever. I agree to spare you. But I think I can guess who taught you what to say. As he was set free, Chand thanked Akbar warmly and left. Soon after, when Akbar met Birbal, he remarked with a knowing look, Birbal, you are smart, I must say, but I am glad you correct me when I act unwisely at times. Birbal's answer was simply to smile. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and ring the bell icon so you can catch the continuations, cliffhangers and all episodes of Indian Tales 1508. Goodbye!